23 December 2022 Morning Murli Om Shanti Bhaktada Madhupan Sweet children, when sitting in remembrance, sit with your eyes open because you have to stay in remembrance of the Father while eating, drinking, walking and moving around. Question, what is the reason why people wander from door to door searching for God? Answer, because people have said that God is omnipresent and made others wander around a great deal. If he were omnipresent, where would you find him? They then say that God is beyond name. And form. If he were beyond name and form, how would you find him? For whom would you look? This is why they continue to wander from door to door. Your children have now stopped wandering around. You see with faith that Baba has come from the supreme abode. He speaks to us children through this organs. However, there is nothing that is beyond name or form. Om Shanti Sweetest children, you are sitting in remembrance of the Father who said this and to whom. The Father of all souls said this to his children. You souls, you souls heard through your organs what Baba said. The Father asked, are you remembering your father? Do you need to close your eyes to remember your father? When children remember their father, their eyes are open. While sitting, walking and moving around, children remember their father. There is no need to close your eyes. The soul knows that his father is speaking to him through the organs. He has come from the supreme abode to make this old, impure world new. This is in your intellects and your eyes are open. Baba is speaking to you. You are listening to him and are also remembering him. Who is telling you this? The supreme father, the supreme soul. What is his name? The names of your bodies continue to change. You take a body, shed that and then take another. And so, you receive another name. The name of souls doesn't change. The father says, I am a soul and you too are souls. And the supreme soul, who is the resident of the supreme abode. And that is why... I am called the Supreme Soul, the highest on high. It's said to be the Supreme. There are elevated souls and also degraded souls. Some are charitable souls and others are sinful souls. The Father says, I, the soul, always have the one name, Shif. He definitely needs to have a name. Because of not having knowledge, people say that he is beyond name and form. However, there cannot be anything in existence that is without a name or form. For instance, there is the sky. It is not a physical object. It is just space. It still has a name sky. It is a very subtle element. Okay, details reset even beyond that. That to aid space. They are sitting beyond the sky. Beyond that is another sky. That too is a place for souls to sit. That sky is called the Brahma element. There are the three elements. Corporeal, subtle and incorporeal. Souls would definitely reside in the space. Therefore, there are three skies. 
the play take place under the sky and so light is needed. There is not a play in the incorporeal world. That is called the element of Brahma, where souls reside. That is the highest of all. There are three worlds, that is three stories of the world. It isn't that there is another world below the sea. There is just earth below the water. The water stays on top of that. These are the three worlds. Silence, movie, talkie. Shubhava sits here and explains those things. Do you have to have your eyes closed in order to remember Shubhava? No. Why do other people close their eyes? Because their eyes deceive them. People say that God is beyond name and form. They then say that He is in the pebbles and stones and in everything. That He takes 84 incarnations and that He incarnates as a fish and a crocodile. In fact, all of that is nothing but lies. By saying that God is omnipresent, they have created so much confusion. The path of devotion is the path for stumbling. They even make me stumble around so much. Devotees now remember God in order to become free from devotion and from stumbling around. When they come here and meet him, they say, Baba, I have searched for you a great deal. I have stumbled around a great deal, but I didn't find you. Since when have you been stumbling around? Baba, I don't know this. The father now explains that it is only through knowledge that there can be salvation. People go to a Kumbh Mela to stumble around. Wherever there is water, they go and bath there. Kumbha means a meeting. In fact, it is the meeting of souls with the Supreme Soul. But on the path of devotion, they have made it into a meeting of the ocean and the river. Melas take place in every country. Those melas are where they bath in water. Some believe in those things and others don't. Some neither believe in devotion nor in knowledge. They believe that human beings are born and then die. That that is nature. There are innumerable opinions. In the same family, the opinion of the wife would be different from that of her husband. One would believe in purity and the other one wouldn't. You are now receiving Srimad. It is remembered. Srimad are the virgins of God. It is by following his directions that human beings change into deities. The deity religion doesn't exist now. The pictures are evidence that prove there used to be the original, eternal deity religion. The rule and the past and the parted. The oldest things are those that belong to the deities. The speak of the Lord Krishna or they say God Sri Narayan. You know that there used to be the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan and that it was called paradise. Sri Krishna was the master of paradise. He was the prince of the golden age. So how did that same Krishna get into the copper age? He cannot go there in that same name and form. The non-living image of the one that existed in the living form exists here. However, where did that soul go? No one knows this. The father tells you that that soul is now playing his part here. While taking 84 births, he has been playing a part with different names, forms, places and time. The soul says, I shed a body and take another. His name, form, place, 
time, friends and relatives are all different. All of those change in the next birth. You know that you are now studying. You will then become deities once again. You will take eight births in the Sun Dynasty. You will shed your bodies and take others. That is not the jail of a worm. It is the palace of a worm. Here, a lot of punishment is experienced in the jail of a worm. After they have suffered, they say, Okay, now let me out. I won't commit any more sin. However, outside, because it is the kingdom of Maya, they begin to commit sin again. There, a soul lives comfortably in the palace of a worm. The father says, Only to you do I tell the essence of all the Vedas and scriptures. Acha, Baba, will now explain about the Kumbh Mela, where many people go to bath. There are many crowds there. There is a Mela at Allahabad where the three rivers meet, means Triveni. That is not a meeting. There should be a meeting of the rivers with the ocean. That is a meeting of rivers where two rivers meet. They then say that the third river is incognito. There cannot be an incognito river. There are just two rivers. Only two are visible. One is clean water and the other is the dirty water. There is not another one. There are the Ganges and the Jamuna. There aren't three rivers. That too is a lie. There isn't a meeting either. In Calcutta, the ocean and the Brahmaputra meet. People go across to other side in a boat where Amela take place. They make so much effort. They go on pilgrimage to Amarnath. There too, there is an oval image of a Shiv Lingam that could be kept at home too. There would then be no need to go there. However, that stumbling around is also fixed in the drama. They go to the Triveni of rivers, means meeting of the three rivers, thinking that to be the purifier. Some don't even know where the rivers come from. They come from the mountains. However, water comes from the ocean. When clouds rain, then because the mountains are high, the water becomes ice. Then, when the sun shines, the ice melts and the water collects and flows through the rivers. So now just think about it. Are the Supreme Father the supreme soul, the ocean of knowledge and the rivers of knowledge, the pair of fire, or is it the ocean and rivers of water? People are stumbling a lot in the darkness. How can you tell them that rivers are not the pure of fire and that that is just rain water? Water comes from the clouds. The clouds draw water from the ocean. Water cannot be the purifier. The thing, the purifier is Ram, who belongs to Sita. Oh, purifier, come. Soul see, oh, purifier of the impure. Baba, have mercy. The father explains, no one becomes pure by stumbling around in devotion. Rivers are eternal. Water is for drinking and for irrigating the fields. How could it purify? This is now your final birth. I have come to make you pure. The golden age was a pure world. This is an impure world. Those who were pure have become impure by taking 84 births. Therefore, they call out to the Father to make them pure. There has been the stages of descent for half a cycle. Bharat was very happy in the golden age. It was pure. 
it is now unhappy because it is impure. This is why they call out, O oh God the Father. Then they say that he doesn't have a name or form. So to whom are they calling out? They don't even understand thus much. They say that each soul is like a star, that a wonderful star shines in the center of the forehead. A soul is absolutely tiny, like a point. They also apply a tilak to the forehead and say that a wonderful star shines in the middle of the forehead. An imperishable part of 84 births is recorded in the soul, which is as tiny as a point. It can never be erased. This whole play is immortal. The cycle continues to turn. It isn't that the world stands still in one place. The original, eternal deity religion that used to exist in the beginning no longer exists. I would surely come when it doesn't exist. I come and once again establish the deity religion. The cycle continues to turn. History and geography repeat again. There used to be the Sun Dynasty Kingdom in the Golden Age and the Moon Dynasty in the Silver Age. You now know about the 84 births and how you go into the stage of Ascent. The Father shows all of you children the path to change from impure to pure. He doesn't say, close your eyes and remember me. You have to remember me while eating, drinking and moving around. Would you eat with your eyes closed? A fly would also be eaten. The souls of your children know that Baba is teaching you. The father says, now remember me and you will become pure. For as long as people are on a pilgrimage, they remain pure. When they return home, they became impure again. Your pilgrimage is spiritual, which the Father inspires you to stay on. The Father says, if you want to go to the land of immortality, remember me. Only when your souls became pure, will you be able to fly. Your final thoughts will lead you to your destination. Only by following the Father Srimad, the receive salvation. Srimad says, O oh souls, constantly remember me alone, and the alloy will be removed, and you will go to the land of liberation, and then go into liberation and life. By knowing the cycle, you will become rulers of the globe. You were pure in the golden and silver ages. Therefore, the father would, of course, ask who made you impure. Your children understand at this time that you became impure from the time the kingdom of Ravan began. After half a cycle, the world becomes old. You then have to receive happiness in the new world. I myself come and give you that. I purify you whereas Ravan makes you impure. I give you your inheritance whereas Ravan causes you. This is a play. Ravan is your great enemy. People make an FG of him and burn it. Have you ever seen anyone take an image of Shiv and burn that? No, Shiv is incorporeal. Ra is the one who gives happiness. So how could they burn him? Ravan is the one who causes sorrow. It is said that they have been burning him from the beginning. So does that mean it was the kingdom of Ram from the beginning? Was there never the kingdom of Ram? All of this has to be explained. None of them knows when Ravan's kingdom began. It began after half a cycle. All of your Draupadis call out, 
Baba, protect us. Ah, oh, you could tell them that you don't want to become impure. You need courage. You have to become the source of attachment. I will give you refuge when you become the source of attachment. Mine is one Shibaba and none other. If you can't to remember your husband and children etc., you won't be able to claim your inheritance. While living at home with your families, remember the father. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children. Love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the Dharna. First point, follow Srimad and show everyone the way to become pure. Create methods to give the purified father's introduction. Second point, in order to claim your inheritance from the father and to take refuge with the father, finish all attachment. Practice remembering the father with your eyes open. Blessing. May you order all your powers and use them at the right time as a master, almighty authority. Explanation. To be a master means that when you order a power, you experience that power in a practical way at that time. Whenever you need a particular power, that power should cooperate at that time. That, as soon as you order a power, it becomes present. Let it not be that you order the power to tolerate and the power to accommodate appears. That is not called a being master almighty authority. Just as the powers of your body are in order, in the same way, let the subtle powers are also work according to your orders. There mustn't be the difference of even a second. Slogan The basis of happiness is the power of contentment. Om Shanti